Tanqua Artscape 2023 Right in the belly of the Karoo where the sun is blazing hot and the silence is deafening the sand is a mystery the stones are the gems and the water is scarce everything looks dead but who determines what's dead and what's alive why do i feel so alive yet my soul is yearning to live it is in the belly of the karoo that i leave my old self and i step into the shoes of my authentic self this is part of the offerings mm -hmm. jane will bring as her end product, so to speak, to the Tankwa Artscape Residency, right? Yes. Jane, who are you? I am a Mosoto girl. Um, I was bred and born and bred in Botabelo in the Free State. I'm currently based in Bloemfontein right now. I am a beautiful being. I bring light. I am a mother of twins, a boy and a girl, so gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> I'm a partner, I'm a career woman, I'm all things women and more. What was the moment you said, I want to go? Mm -hmm. And what was your application? So the application was actually done um, on our behalf by Halloween Armstrong, who's also a part of the participants. Well, she applied here. She wanted to come here because she wanted to reconnect to her ancestors, you know, to the nature, to her Koi heritage, um, because she just recently learned some history there. And she knew that I would really love to do this because, I mean, the Tanqua River, I've always been so connected with water. Uh, but then we got here and there was no water. <laughs> no water at all. Um, and we had to rethink things. And even though we did come up with some ideas, we were both really struggling to connect, um, to connect to the idea, to connect to the land. And then early hours of the morning before the last, it came to me like I literally couldn't sleep. I was having conversations with myself. It was in between dreaming and waking up, having the same conversation, like the conversation just continuing in different realms. And I was confronted with the idea of connecting to my ancestors. I always did, but in a very weird way, because I always felt so guilty for doing that, especially being Christian and, yeah, being against everything that or rather not understanding the ways of my people and how they connect to ancestors and how they view death or um i've always struggled with that but there's something about the land that made me think differently <laughs> so what is this something about the land mm. So the type of nature um, landscapes that I love, I like the mountains, the valleys, the, you know, life, the greenery, the, ooh, things moving. Um, but suddenly I'm here and my brain is saying everything is dead, but my soul says there's so much life here. And... That's when I started interlinking it to, you know, losing loved ones. Just because they're dead, it doesn't mean that's it. That's the journey. Um, and I went back and confronted myself and I was like, wait, you always say these people are dead. Yet when you need them to comfort you, you feel their presence, you know. In the Karoo, you look around, everything is so dry. It looks dead, yet it spark some life within you so maybe it's high time you go back home and you explore you know just acknowledge really i've always said that for me this is a spiritual journey and i thought my spiritual journey will be linked to the water the river because it brings out that within me but it's something else 
something else. There's something about stepping on the land here. Especially that particular space that I have chosen that makes you feel so grounded, so at home, peace, calmness, tranquility. It feels right. And I realized that the only reason I haven't been connecting with the land is because I wasn't ready to connect with the land. But now you are. Now I am. Are you happy? I'm happy. I came here really, really scared and fearful. I, I, I was even saying um, when we were sharing uh, on the next, um, the first, sorry, circle, that I'm, re- uh, I'm, I'm ready to connect, but I'm fearful of the connections that I would make or the things that I would learn about myself. And but then you got sick, funny enough. You I got, got sick. sick. I got sick. Funny enough, I got sick while connecting. (laughs) You know, stargazing. But uh, at that moment, I didn't care about the physical being. I didn't care about the fact that I might have flu or whatever. I just really needed to connect with nature, with the stars, with the moon, with everything that I always write so much about that... I always use as metaphors for my loved ones and that night I saw three shooting stars. Yo three Yes, you see them a lot here. That was amazing. I was literally shaking, shivering, but I'm like, no, I need to be here and I got sick. But Afterwards, after the moment of realizing what I needed to do, suddenly I started feeling better. And it happens to me a lot. I carry grief in my body. I carry anxiety in my body. I start being sick, you know. The body will always tell you when the soul needs something. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt so dry. My throat was so dry. It didn't make sense. No matter how much liquids I drank and everything it was just so dry but I was like it's because my soul is dry and it needs to be watered and I need to do this one thing one thing and it feels amazing it feels right (laughs) super cool yeah so when you look around here Mm. five words Jane to Mm. describe the landscape what are your five words still Dry, but lovely, confronting, contentment. I don't just see the landscapes. I don't just refer to the tangible side of it. For me, it's more of what it makes me feel. Yeah nothing wrong with this Mm -hmm. so your experience here the process you described pretty well what you went through Mm. how do you how did you experience the collective i mean you're Mm. you're not alone first of all you came with your friend halloween but then there is this bigger group of other artists who are around so how what kind of impact has this or what yo this feels like a home away from home in such a beautiful way you know even when i was sick everybody was worried (laughs) checking up on me must we give you drugs um you know medication what can we do to make it better and yesterday as i was talking to mkulu sisonke about my revelation he was literally guiding me and because this is the world that he knows best and I felt so protected and then I spoke to Matladi as well because while um, I was busy having breakfast there was this music that was playing in the background and this instrument that I didn't know but felt right and I was like Matladi what is this and she described it to me and said that she actually has it and I started telling her about my idea Even before I asked her, she was just like, yes, I'm in, you know, (laughs) yeah, like she, she she could sense that I want to ask her, but I also don't want her to not focus on why she's here. 
and I was telling um, Gina as well that I was busy assembling a mask um, out of some twigs and she's like let me know how I can help you know you feel like yes this could be a journey very important to you but there are so many people who are involved who are making it possible JP oh oh JP Woo! yeah he's just always so supportive taking you wherever you need to be whenever ready to listen to your concerns and give advice um, Gray as well, who made it possible for me to get supplies that I needed that were like 18 kilometers away in the halfway house. And suddenly they were here and everybody else, you know, just contributing the energies, the support, the checking in on each other. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So what do you think you will take home from your experience? A new self. Mm. It's quite a lot. Yeah, <laughs> quite a lot. But it's the self I've been yearning for. Uh, I'm going to take it as it comes. I'm not going to force anything. But I'm going to live here happier. I'm actually so much happy here. I am so happy. It's crazy. You know, when I got here, I was I, like, I literally surprised myself um, from just being on my way here already, feeling the urge to write and writing so much ever since I've been here. So, so much. And I hadn't written in quite some time because I've been in a very difficult, bad space. But suddenly I got here and I reconnected to the creative artistic me and now I need to connect to the more authentic me not to say the creative one is not but you get what I mean the self that I had ignored for a very long time thank you very much for your openness thank you